Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and much more, all in five minutes or less. Now, we're going to get back into Ready to Love, man. This is crazy. I'm fully convinced that the producers at Ready to Love definitely pick and choose who they want on this show. Um, many times before I've thought this, but after watching what I'm about to show you, I think you can agree. Kadian is way over the top and for some reason they still kick off april i don't understand it let's look at this exchange real quick and then we'll talk about it we had our, our love how you doing hey tommy yeah, yeah. i love players now some of the dudes well most of the dudes well all the dudes <laughs> besides me thought that they said you was no you were tailgating you ask intimidating questions. Like yeah. A that's, gift that's that why, yeah, how many kids they just, they have. They just feel like you're yeah. and they feel scared. I mean, not scared, but they, they feel like they don't want to be interrogated. Uh, well, maybe they should learn how to lead. What? But I was speaking to some of the guys today. Okay. Talking about some of the connections we had and all. Let's take a quick pause right there. So, women, no man wants to be interrogated. Like her personality is too much. Nobody wants to deal with that. That has nothing to do with a man learning how to lead. Like how aggressive do you want the man to be? Tell you to shut up, right? You know, hey, you ask me too many questions. You don't want that. Well, maybe some women do, but women, you let me know in the comments. You know, that's too much. If you watch her, she's just like basically asking you a whole bunch of questions and just kind of just too overbearing and it's just too much. So a lot of times some women are sitting out there wondering why are they single? Because no one wants to be in a dang one boxing match, right? And it's just too much. You have to show your softer side. And well, of course, if you are a boss chick, as they say, that's fine in the workplace. When you come out of the workplace, you're supposed to be able to relax and chill and be the nice woman that your man will want to see. Let's continue on. Let's let's watch more of this real quick. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, sexy, obviously, style, energy, vibe. A lot of the things that I like about you in the initial conversation, the guys had the same kind of stuff. Come on, you gotta be a little open. Be a little I open. am. Be a little open. Be a little nice. I'm you very open. Don't be an island girl. No, no, no. Wait. First of all, let's let's not de let's define that serious. I'm not being mean. But some people take it as mean. Okay, but that's but I'm not being mean. Yeah, I'm a strong person, so I'm okay because I don't want to weak man. But they did mention that anyway, although we'll, you had we'll all this quality. There. But like you know, it's just con extremely combative. She is not open to suggestion. You have. A number of guys that are telling you something and she's not listening to it at all because she's a strong woman. You will be a strong woman by yourself until you learn that men don't need you to be strong in areas where it's not necessary. There is a time and place for every single thing under the sun. If you can't even listen to suggestions, that's a problem. Even a man who's not listening to suggestions, that's a problem. We don't know it all. We are fallible. That's why the man and the woman, when you link up with the right one, you have magic. Because a male perspective and a female perspective is a beautiful thing but it does take each person being open. She has it all figured out, yet though she's still single. Why they threw her out, uh, April out, you know, I guess she's not entertaining enough because you know it's going to have to be some more fireworks on this show, right? If you leave Kate in on this show, there's going to be some fireworks. So that's my opinion. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Until next time, guys, be blessed.